Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to perform fuzzy clustering or add cluster values based on the similarity of items you have, which may not really match together uh, in Power BI and Power Query. Let's see how it works. To perform the fuzzy operation I mentioned, first you need to uh, apply it in the Power Query. Now this is a Power Query option which is at the moment, at the time of uh, publishing this video, is only available in Power Query Online which you can access it using Power BI data flows or Power Platform data flows. Uh, meaning that in the Power BI service you need to go to an organizational workspace once you are there, click on new, click on a data flow that will create a new data flow. Now I already have one open that is why this is coming up, but then add a new table. That will give you to Power Query Editor like this. Uh, later on this option I'm sure will be available in Power Query, in Power BI Desktop uh, or Excel as well, but for now that is the way to access it. Now uh, here is my data set. As you can see, I have a department column. This is the same data set I used for the fuzzy merge and fuzzy grouping example as well. Go and check those uh, links down in the description below. Uh, you can see that I have values which are similar but not exactly similar like these two or these two and this one. They are similar but not exactly and same for this. Now um, I want to see how many similar values I have in this or in other words I want to find the clusters. Um, there are three ways to perform fuzzy operation in Power Query. One is fuzzy merge which you merge this with another table based on fuzzy similarity. Um, another is fuzzy grouping, which you group these items. I explained about that also in another video. And then the last one is this one I'm going to talk about, which is uh, fuzzy clustering. You can find it under add column cluster values. Uh, to do that first, you need to select the column that you want to perform this fuzzy uh, clustering on it. When I click on cluster values, it brings a new column, I can call it department clusters, uh, which would have the cluster value out of it. The fuzzy cluster option, I'll talk about that in a second, but for now, if I just click on this, that would create a new column with the values fetched out of this. Here you can see, for example, these two values are uh, mapped to one, so this is my cluster value. Uh, these two also into this and also this one. So two cluster values and the last one is sales. So in fact, I have like three different cluster values, this one, this one, and this one, right? How did it work? How did it work? Actually in uh, Power Query and Power BI, this clustering is working based on the similarity uh, of these items together. There's an algorithm jacquard index behind the scene working and you can find again the link down in the description below. Find a score of similarity based on these. Uh, you don't see the score by default but uh, one of the things you can do in the uh, clustering is to go to fuzzy cluster option because here it will give you a lot of configuration. Uh, the first and the most important one from my point of view is this one, show similarity scores. This will show you the score of similarity of those values to the cluster value found uh, as a new column. So here you can see that this will come as a new column, for example, saying that these are exactly matching. One means the value is between zero to one. One means that these two are matching exactly. But the other two values, these two are not exactly matching, but they are similar. Their similarity is 91%. This one is not that much similar management and this because it, it has some characters missing. So this, this is quite helpful because for any fuzzy operation, you need to fine tune this similarity threshold. You want to say, for example, anything above 85% is good similarity. Anything below that is not. To find that similarity threshold, you need to look at these and play with that similarity threshold. Which brings us to the next, um, next 
um, option, in this fuzzy clustering option, which is the similarity threshold itself. So based on the values you get, you might fine tune this. You might say, well, I want this to be like similarity threshold of this. And if I do that, then it means, um, it means mm, I would have more than uh, three clusters. Here you see I have one cluster for cluster for this as well, right? So so you can play with this, which is which is quite helpful. Other fuzzy other similarity options like uh, ignore case if uh, and most of the case is helpful. Um, unless you really want to compare things based on their case sensitivity. Group items by combining text parts, it will actually ignore the space between. And the transformation table is quite helpful if you have a mapping table saying that, for example, Inform Informatica Technologica should be mapped to information technology. That is very helpful because the fuzzy operation by itself is quite slow operation even for a small data set it is a slow operation because it tries to match every single value with the other value finds the similarity threshold based on those but if you have a transformation table like a mapping table as soon as it finds this value it it looks like a merge actually it joins it with the other value and find what is uh, the outcome of that if it can find it there then that would be the situation that it would perform uh, clustering. So definitely I would suggest using that because it is going to be quite slow in the performance. Uh, so you can play with these. Uh, there is also a power query function that is behind the scene of all of these. That is the function add fuzzy cluster column. Uh, mostly you do it through graphical interface, but in case you want to use it inside uh, an M script, this is how the function works, the parameters of that. Uh, the inputs and the output of that. Quite helpful to know it, especially for scenarios that you want to customize this uh, behind the scene or write your own M script. In, in overall, fuzzy clustering is a very helpful option, especially with this uh, option to show similarity scores. I normally use this before using fuzzy merge or fuzzy grouping because it gives me an idea of what values are matching, what values are not matching. I'll go and uh, set the similarity threshold, change it and fine tune it. And once I found it, then I can perform other fuzzy operations. I encourage you to go and check out my other two blogs and videos about fuzzy merge and fuzzy grouping as well. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI. Thank you.